I'm Joy, and for today, we are going to do an experiment about rectilinear motion. So, for this experiment, our main objective is to find out what is the relationship between height and velocity. So, for this, we are going to be needing some materials na may kita rin naman sa bahay so you don't have to worry. So, our first essential material is this marble. As you can see, this marble has, um, it is 2.5 centimeters in diameter. So, it is bigger than the typical marble na ginagamit pag naglalaro. So, aside from our marble, um, we have this. So, this is 100 centimeters, uh, 100 centimeters long or 1 meter long. Um, ang purpose nito is dito ko padadaanin ang ating marble. And lastly, we have this um, stand. So, this stand, as you can see, it is made from cardboard or carton. Um, it has three levels. So, the first level is 10 centimeters. The second is 20 centimeters. And the third is 30 centimeters. So, ang purpose nito is dito ko ipapatong itong dadaanan ng ating marble. So, um, as you can see, meron tayo dito mga books, so it will serve as um, support. Dahil may tendency, to ta mag may tendency ito na mag-bend. So, ilalagay lang natin ito sa ilalim. Or, halimbawa, if you don't have, um, if, if you don't have this um, kind of stand, you can use um, books then. Um, it doesn't matter as long as dapat tama yung uh, measurement ng ating height. So, later on with this experiment, we are going to be um, answering some questions um, like this. As you can see, 30 centimeters lang to. So, um, what if or what is the velocity of this marble at the height of 40 and 50 centimeters? So, our answer for that is going to be based on our observation for um, the trials that we are going to make. So, paano ang experiment na to? We, each height, we are going to have um, um, three attempts or three trials. And then, we are going to get its velocity, average velocity. So, yeah, let's start. So, after doing the experiment, we finally obtained our data and as I said earlier, the objective of this video is for us to find out the relationship between height and velocity. So, before I start explaining, I would like to say sorry for my background noise. Uh, so, continuing, aside from that objective is we need to answer the question, what is the average velocity of the marble? at the height of 40 and 50 centimeters without doing the experiment so our answer for that will be based on the data that we obtained at 10 20 and 30 centimeters height so ito na nga ang ating data we can see na at 10 centimeters the average velocity of the marble is 0 0.55 meters per second and then at 20 centimeters the average velocity of the marble became 0 0.74 meters per second and lastly at 30 centimeters the average velocity of the marble became 0 0.91 meters per second so what can we observe in this data um we can see na as the height increases the velocity also increases so, based from our data, diba, um, at 10 cm na height, nagi siyang 20 cm na height, and then, we can see na, nung tumaas ng 10 cm yung height is, tumaas din ng 0.19 meters per second yung ating velocity. 
So, saan ko nakuha yung 0.19? Kinuha ko yung difference ng average velocity ng marble at 20 centimeters na height at saka ng 10 centimeters na height. So, 0.74 minus 0.55 is 0.19 meters per second. So, ganun din ginawa ko dun sa um, height na 30 cm at saka 20 cm. Sinubtract ko sila and nakuha ko na ang difference ng kanilang velocity is 0.17 meters per second. So, it implies na noong tumaas ulit ng 10 cm yung height from 20 to 30 is tumaas ulit yung velocity ng marble ng Um, 0.17 meters per second. So, 0.19 and 0.17 meters per second, parang magkalapit sila, ba? Diba? Like, if you will round that off, magiging siya 0.20 meters per second. So, yung 0.20 meters per second na yun, is yun yung gagawin natin constant, and yun yung ating gagamitin para ma-determine kung ano yung average velocity ng marble at the height of 40 and 50 centimeters. So, to answer nga yun, yung question na yun, so, using the constant of 0.20 meters per second na increase ng velocity ng marble, um, we can finally conclude na at 40 centimeters, the average velocity of the marble is 1.11 meters per second. So, paano ko yung nakuha? in ko lang yung average velocity ng marble at 30 cm at saka yung constant na 0.20. Yeah. So, na-obtain ko is 1.11 meters per second. And then, ganun din ang gagawin ko sa ating um, height na 50 cm. So, Mako-conclude ko na ang average velocity ng marble at the height of 50 cm is 1.31 meters per second. So, bakit ko nakuha yon? Nag-add ulit ako ng 0.20 meters per second doon sa average velocity ng marble at the height of 40 meters per second. So, yeah. So, to wrap this all up, um we can conclude na as the height increases, the velocity increases. And based from this data, based on the data na nakuha natin sa experiment, um, habang tumataas ng 10 cm yung height is tumataas din yung velocity ng marble ng 0.20 meters per second. Yun yung naging constant natin and yun din yung naging basis natin para malaman kung ano yung velocity or average velocity ng marble at the height of 40 and 50 centimeters without doing the experiment.